Hi, I'm Sassy Scarborough and today I'm going to talk to you about how to create your own system layer alphas for Bakes on Mesh and a little bit about local textures. It took a little bit of searching for me to find something that had the kind of clipping that I needed to show. This top fits really, really well. It's just a little bit of bleed here on the arms. So if you go into the Slink Essentials Alpha, this is of course me showing on my Slink body, but anything that's Bakes on Mesh will work the same. So I put on the UV template wearable, which is just a tattoo layer with the UVs added. And as you can see, it shows me where on the UV is exposed and what is actually hidden. So the green area and the green area is where I sort of need to keep within. So as you can see, you've got an upper here and you can save that to your hard drive, which I've done already. So let's move over to Photoshop. So now we're in Photoshop and the same sort of principle will be for other softwares that allow you to create transparency. I'm going to make a copy of the layer, Control J for Photoshop. I'm going to zoom in, Control Plus, and I'm going to hold down my space bar and drag the image so I have a better view of it. Go down one. So remember we were going to be within the green, within the green. Okay, so that's the outside of your arm and that's the internal of your arm. Those are your elbows there. And unfortunately with the SOUV, you have only one arm for your layers. So you can use either a lasso tool, which allows you to just randomly draw like that. Uh, Control D to deselect. You can use the pen tool, which gives you more precise movement or you can use the eraser tool. You could also use marquee, but because it's not exactly lined up, that would be a bit difficult. I'm going to use the pen tool. So I'm going to go just across here, down, across here, down. Actually, I went a little bit too far. Coming up, a little bit wonky, but that's okay because it's, it's a fairly rough and ready kind of item. Right click, make selection, gives the ants and then I'm just going to press delete. Control D to deselect. Now with masking cutoff you can actually increase or decrease your alpha mask slightly using the sliders on the body HUD. I'm going to go into filter, blur, Gaussian blur and add five pixels. You can only do it if there is a blur added to the alpha layer. So old alpha layers won't have that option, but if the creators have actually included the texture with the alpha and they've made it full perms, you can save it out, throw it into a program, add that blur yourself and upload it again. So let's go into Second Life and I'm going to show you about local textures. To make an alpha layer for Second Life, you go into any folder, right click, go to New Clothes and to New Alpha Mask. We're going to name it Shirt Sleeves. I can never type properly when I think somebody's watching me, <laughs> even if they're not going to watch me till later. I'm going to add the alpha layer. Add is best in case you're wearing an alpha already. I'm going to go into Edit and we're going to use Local Textures. So I'm going to click on the upper alpha I'm going to wait a few moments because my inventory is huge so it always messes this up. Sorry about that. I'm going to press local, I'm going to press add and I'm going to press the speed sleeves test. Second one here. Press OK. And now this is only like the temporary textures in the past except you don't actually upload them even without a cost. So as you can see here everything looks exactly how I want it to. So now I can either proceed or do some fine tuning if I wanted to. First of all I'm going to show you how the local textures work. So because you've done it as a local texture you can actually add more to it. So I can go in, bring this out, I could say select a circle here, delete it, Select and file save. Go back to PNG. Go 
and see now I've got a circle and all of this is saving as you want it so any tweaking that you make so say you're making eyeshadow or lipstick and it's a little bit too large for the mouth you can go in and you can tweak it and you can keep doing that as long as you keep the same name and the same link to it it'll keep saving so I'm going to go back in I'm going to undo what I just did to the stomach and I'm going to upload that texture so as you can see, as I said, it's grey because it was a temporary texture, local texture. So only you are able to see it. So if you wanted to do something like still go ahead, take photos of this without actually uploading, you could. If you were using an image, say for a background that you got off the internet, you could do that too without ever uploading it. If you're building something like a house or a backdrop and you want to test how your textures are going to appear on the mesh in world same thing you can use local textures all the way so we're going to upload this texture now that we've got it sleeves test upload we're going to add it in now it's not grey because it is actually saved and uploaded and there we have the texture as we want it so now I can take off the tattoo layer and now we've got that perfect alpha that we need so you can see that there's no bleeding <laughs> my builders poses are awesome so that's everything that I've got to say about making your own system layer alphas and local textures maybe I'll go into local textures a bit more in the future but whether you wait around for creators to start adding alphas or you go on a big alpha hunt on the grid you can make your own and I hope this video was helpful that's me Sassy Scarborough signing out for sassyscarborough.com and I hope to see you again mm -hmm.